here, but it's called every post. And what it does is it lets you cross post across Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Pinterest, Tumblr, LinkedIn, and Dropbox. Oh, wow. Then they also have some things where where you can, like it'll give you warnings to show you you're over your 140 character limit. It'll auto resize photos. Like you can actually set photo size based on like one megapixel, one through five megapixels. So it'll automatically resize all your pictures. Like it just seems like a really cool app. Now, I'll be honest with you. I downloaded it on the way to work and or on the way home from work today and didn't get a chance to really to test it yet. Mm -hmm. But it seems like this is going to be my new way to kind of post cross post. So if I want something to go out to every social media outlet, and I know you, I'm, I don't know what you do as of today. Uh, I am still You're, with Hootsuite. Okay. I'm still paying for Hootsuite. Um, uh, now, I like it. it. It gets a lot of scheduling work done for me, especially on like, you know, like I said, I worked for some clients where they're like, we want you to work on our social media one day a week. Mm -hmm. It's like, great. I can't leave your social media quiet the rest of the week. So I auto made everything else just because that's the form of the job. Uh, my issues with Hootsuite, um, as we come along, I don't feel like it's keeping up with all the social media. I noticed just more recently they're actually doing the we'll make the link go away to the image when we post to Google Plus and Facebook, like that kind of stuff. Um, I wish I had options to tag people when I post through it. Like okay. I would have loved to, like like today, say, you know, I, I actually, I think I was posting about Doug being on here and I would have loved to tag him in those posts, but you know, then I have to go in and to each individual one and do it. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I think there's a lot of value in that, you know, then he gets to see it and he gets to share it. And, and then that, that whole kind of circle completes and it's, it's just, you know, just hard to automate that. Um, so I, I feel like it's done a lot. It's kind of becoming the constant contact, I think of social media mm -hmm. application as in like, and for those that haven't, Doug's, Doug's laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I'm talking about, right? I do, you, you, I, just, I've worked with, I've worked with Constant Contact before, and I've worked with some other services. Mm -hmm. uh, I've used Chipmunky and a few others. And I'm also a paid Hootsuite person. Mm -hmm. And I love Hootsuite. I have a lot of problems with it, I'm finding out. Mm -hmm. Being someone who has to now schedule a lot of stuff. And like, if I want to, if I schedule, my, if I do the, uh, the auto scheduler, and I know it's going to go out to Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and LinkedIn and everything else, I can't have it set to automatically email me a message i have to turn off the auto timer set the email then go back and set it again as the auto timer oh so it's like a notice to say hey this sent out yeah i didn't even know that was in there yeah so if you take off the auto timer and it'll pop up with the time to send your post to schedule your your tweet or whatever you're going to do you can actually select email me a notification but if you have it set up on the auto I was hoping that the feature would be there, and if somebody from Hootsuite is is watching right now, that'd be great to let me know how to do it. Uh, you have to go back in, turn the auto off, hit the notification for the email, turn it back on, and it's just, it's like it's just an extra step that's a pain in the butt. Oh, this I, I you know what I never noticed this here. <laughs> There's right here under the time, I guess there's an email me because I have the Hoot, Hootlet thing, which is this is nice because I can just even like like. Tweeting pages, or I just do this as quick access to Hoot, Hootsuite. Like, if I'm like, I want to tweet something, I'll just hit that, pull it up, pull over whatever account, and everything's listed, and I'm good to go. So, um, yeah, it, it's 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 kind of gotten, like, too big for its own good. Like, Constant Contact is kind of the email, I think, side of this. Cause we, mm -hmm. One of the clients uses it, and actually somebody else is starting to work on it. Thank God. And, and he swears at it every week. Um, Didn't they get bought? Probably. I, I think they know. got I thought mm -hmm. constant contact up, but, but but versus for my own stuff here for Silver Charm Media, I'm using Mail Mailchimp, and it's such a nicer experience. And they're updating it; it keeps moving. And there's been like probably one major update in constant contact since I first started using it in like 2011. Um, and there's just too many like formatting issues and everything. But but anyways, back to this. Like I feel like Hootsuite is just like just feels. It's not fun to be in. Right. Like when I want to just watch social media, you know, through the rest of the day, I actually have um, TweetDeck set up most of the time. That's the way I set up it's this. just like like when during the day, 
I have my main accounts for the podcast, for all that kind of stuff. And this is what sits in the secondary monitor is, 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 is TweetDeck. It just looks better. It, it, it refreshes more on its own. I just have, you know, just issues of the, with the uh, Hootsuite versus this. So. Well, it takes a while for the Hootsuite feed to update too. It's not as, the refresh isn't as constant as TweetDeck is, which is why I still love TweetDeck. Because I can keep following conversations. Hootsuite, I kind of get lost because it's in bulk. It is. It is. And, and the difference is Hootsuite is one of the few that survived the um, the um, 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 API calling of a couple years ago with Twitter. And, and TweetDeck is actually um, Twitter-owned now. Mm -hmm. So, And they've actually been killing it off certain platforms, which kind of – like I really would like to get it on my phone and iPad and stuff. And you can't do that anymore. So I was fortunate where uh, with my, my previous employer – I had a Hootsuite Enterprise account, Oof. and let me tell you, the toys on that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. It's because we it's... had major announcements coming out, and they said, "Look, if you guys need our help, let's get this thing up and running." So I, I got to play around with that, and the stuff that you can do is disgusting. But yeah. also, you got to have uh, quite a few tens of thousands of dollars to do it. Yeah. But it's it's cheaper than Radian Six, mm -hmm. and it's cheaper than Adobe uh, Adobe Social. And it, it is slick. What is Radiant? So Radiant's just another Radiant Six program? is another. It's one another one of those programs similar to TweetDeck or similar to uh, Hootsuite. We're getting high level social media mm -hmm. with this conversation, by the way. <laughs> where you can, uh, or you monitor the conversations that are going on, but also you can set up triggers so that if somebody, if you're say you're working for McDonald's, if somebody mentions Burger or mentions Burger King, or if they mention McDonald's, Big Mac, something like that, somebody will get a notification saying. They're, these people are talking about you, and you could also have it set by what their clout score is, how many followers they have, on what platform. Like it, you can really have it fine tuned so, to the. So that's you how could, if I, if I had like three thousand or four thousand, five thousand, you know, followers, I'm on a threshold. Say I start talking, I start trashing uh, Comcast. Mm -hmm. That's why Comcast is on. Yes, but they can also use it. They also use it to score. Call centers will sometimes use it. Mm -hmm. So you'll get you'll get when you call in to a call center, they'll say like they can actually figure out your penetration if if you were to complain about their customer service. So they may bump you up in a queue like they'll they, they combine like your clout score, how many follows you have on Twitter, how many friends you have on Facebook. They can they can quickly figure out what your Internet net worth is and then, and then go from there on how they're actually going to treat you. In fact, I know of a few local, higher local companies that they have profiles set up of people, so they know that if you know you you are an influential person, so yeah, if you're going to complain, they'll know to listen to you. That's why Leo Laporte always gets the best service when when something comes well, and up. And that's this was one of the companies they brought up when when he had called Apple. Yeah, and they kind of gave him a, a fluff off at first. Yeah, they, and they said, well, they must not use Radiant Six. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So so I, I, I'm like this every post. I might try it out, uh, kind of see if it's a little better. But it, it looks like it's mostly like a phone play. It looks like it's an app play. It doesn't look like it's a, I can sit down as my command center kind of thing. But it could be a nice replacement for the Hootsuite phone.